All right, so now I am doing a little, I don't know, uh, final shootout of the SJ5000X Elite versus the GoPro Hero 5 and their perspective gimbals. The Hero 5 is in the Evo GP Pro gimbal and the SJ Cam is in the Feutech G4 QD gimbal. One thing that you'll notice is how fast or how slow that they recover from turning. So we'll have them face each other and then turn forward, whip to the left, and then to the right. And you see the Feutech is a lot slower in this recovery, but then again that may be a good thing because it is a little bit slower so the shutter judder that you may see normally with a fast movement like that is minimized let me set both of these cameras to adjust their tilt so holding them side by side so tilt down tilt up they're relatively close in their speed as far as tilt uh, the Feutech still just a little bit slower but I'll let you the watcher determine which one looked better as far as the speed of recovery now let me just move these around to me, I'm going to do a microphone test just so you can hear what the SJ Cam sounds like versus the Hero 5 microphones. Now, the entire video that you've watched so far has been using the external microphone of the, or using the microphone of the Hero 5. And so I'm going to test it to SJ Cam. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now the hero. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, I had said it before, and I will say it again. Now, this is my second hero five because the first one got some water in it, but Best Buy was very nice and swapped it out for me no questions asked so their customer service is fantastic like i said in that other video but let's see does this hero 5 still have no motor noise this is with firmware version 2.0 on the new one and i'm going to suspect that there is absolutely no motor noise with the hero 5 uh set to wind with the evo gp pro now when you look at the hero here and it's set up you're looking at 379 i believe for the gimbal and then 399 for the camera so you can do the math right there you're looking at almost 800 dollars versus the sj cam at about 120 and the feutech g4 qd gimbal at i believe it's 130 or 150 max I'll uh, have to check to see what the latest pricing is, but I'll put it in the description below. So when you're talking about 270-ish dollars versus 800, you have to ask yourself: Is the video quality, the stabilization, is it worth it? So let me put these both on lock again. Okay, now they are on lock. So now I'm just going to just walk side by side with both cameras using the gimbal at about a 45 degree angle as I'm walking to see the stability of the footage. And we'll let you determine which one is best. As always, 
Thank you for watching. If you find these videos informative at all, give me a thumbs up. Share the video because there's some other users that may appreciate it. Also, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe today. I appreciate it. And I thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a good day. Bye.